When you look at work, particularly out of Harvard and the NIH, where I was a fellow years ago, you realize that ketones aren't a super fuel. Sorry about that. Even at full ketosis, a human being, muscles, will get only 30% of its fuel from ketone, 30% at full ketosis. 70% of it will come from free fatty acids and glucose. Even at full ketosis, the brain, which loves ketone, will only get 70, 60% of its fuel from ketone. It wants glucose as the other amount. So when I looked at that literature in human beings, at full ketosis, I said, wow, this isn't some super fuel. This isn't something I should be chugging for super fuel. This isn't something I should strive to be in 24 hours a day. But we know there's, there's a lot of cool stuff happening in people who practice a ketogenic diet. Well, what the heck is that? Well, when I started trying to explain this in the energy paradox, I said, oh my gosh, there's a keto paradox that ketones aren't some super fuel but they are signaling molecules.